Welcome to the Eastern Idaho Planning Briefing for Saturday, December 12th. We'll take a quick look at the impact summary for the next several days. We do have some lingering snow this morning in areas along and east of Interstate 15. Accumulations are expected to be light through most of the travel corridors. Next system arrives for Sunday and Monday. We'll have another break on Tuesday. And then the forecast looks unsettled for the rest of the week. Let's look at the satellite imagery across the region this morning. Our system that uh, brought snow to the region yesterday and last night has generally shifted to the east. There is some little bit of wraparound moisture working its way from the north through eastern Idaho this morning. We do have a band of light snow moving south along the interstate corridor between Idaho Falls and Pocatello and also impacting higher elevation areas between Interstate 15 and the Wyoming border. As that system continues to shift to the east, we'll see a brief break in the pattern and then tension should turn to this large system out in the Pacific and that's going to be our snowmaker for Sunday and Monday. Let's look at that impact overview matrix for the region for the next several days. Again, minimal impacts with light snow generally this morning in the highland, highland areas east of Interstate 15. We do have some pockets of very light snow this morning as well uh, through uh, portions of the area. Otherwise, it is a relative break in the pattern today. We'll look at that impact with the next big low working its way in for Sunday and Monday. We are expecting to snow, so snow to spread across all of eastern Idaho beginning late in the day on Sunday and continuing through late in the day on Monday. We'll have a brief break Monday night through Tuesday with some lingering light snows in the eastern highlands and in the higher elevations of the central mountains. Otherwise, again, Tuesday is a relative break. And then we'll see the next system arrive for Wednesday with light snow overspreading most of the area. Let's take a look at some of those snow totals. For the snowfall amount for the rest of today, that is Saturday through midnight tonight, we see the remnants of that upper low with the light snowfall pushing south through the Interstate 15 corridor all the way to the Utah border and in the highland areas east to the Wyoming border. As we look at this snowfall amount for Sunday, keeping in mind that this is Saturday night midnight to Sunday night midnight, we can see these, the impact of the next system working its way into East Idaho. This snow is expected to reach the Central Mountains late in the day and then spread across all of Eastern Idaho through the evening. Highest snow totals through Sunday night, tomorrow night, uh, will be in the Central Mountains, the Eastern Magic Valley, and the Southern Highlands with an inch or two in the interstate travel corridors. Uh, again, these impacts are expected to be minimal, uh, but uh, this could produce some slick driving conditions. As we look through midnight Sunday night through Monday night midnight, you can see the focus of the precipitation has shifted to the Interstate 15 corridor and the Southern and eastern highlands to the Utah and Wyoming borders. Again, these snowfall amounts are generally light, uh, but we are expecting some occasional slick driving conditions. Again, with the break on Tuesday between systems with some lingering very light snows in the higher elevations. And then taking a look at the impact of the entire system for Sunday and Monday, you can see that the bulk of the snowfall falls over the higher elevations with again some generally one to three inches of accumulation over the two-day period in the interstate main travel corridors. Again, we are expecting this pattern to remain unsettled through the rest of the week. This uh, six to ten day outlook goes through Monday the 21st and we're looking at mild conditions continuing over most of the western U.S. And again, with the precipitation outlook, we can see the impact of the unsettled pattern with these systems coming through approximately every other day through the Pacific Northwest, bringing continued light snowfall to the region. So once again, the impact summary, we do have some lingering light snows this morning along and east of Interstate 15. We'll have a break. 
And then the next system arrives for Sunday and Monday with some travel impacts and occasional slick driving conditions across almost all of East Idaho during that time, although accumulations will remain generally light through that period. We'll have a break on Tuesday, and then another pattern uh, continues unsettled for the rest of the week. That will conclude the briefing today. If you have comments or questions about the briefing or the weather forecast in general, please feel free to contact us with the information available on your screen. And thank you for joining us today.